In a swarm, intelligence isn't a function of the individual, but of the many. Species that swarm have evolved the ability to transform from a grouping of many life forms to a single entity made up of thousands or millions of creatures. An entity with collective intelligence. It's the ultimate in groupthink. The key characteristic of the swarm is what scientists call coordinated collective behavior. There is no plan, no leader, no visible sign of communication. And yet, the group moves as one, a synchronized and often unstoppable force, even a plague. This plague in the Moroccan desert is as old as human history. Grasshoppers. But these aren't your ordinary garden variety grasshoppers. This bug has a bad side. And that bad side goes by another name, locust. For 90% of the year, these hoppers live in small groups and avoid each other like, well, like the plague. In the rainy season, when there is plenty of food, this works fine. But when the food supply dries up, millions of insects are forced into the last remaining green spots, where things get tight, very tight. The massive overcrowding triggers a spike in the grasshopper's serotonin levels. They change color, breed more easily, and start a feeding frenzy. They become a swarm of locusts. The swarm spends four weeks as a vast ground army, then turns into an air force. Locusts have no respect for boundaries. Their motto, we'll travel for food. Locust swarms can travel thousands of miles and contain billions of insects. A single swarm can infest half a continent. Like most flying swarmers, locusts have an uncanny ability to fly in perfect formation. Their wing beats are synchronized, which reduces turbulence and allows the group to fly more efficiently. Their eyes are designed to track nearby movement and adjust to it with lightning speed, six times faster than a human could. Their visual hypersensitivity also helps them dodge predators like birds. But they didn't get that plague tag for nothing. Locust swarms cause widespread devastation, especially in the developing world. When a swarm lands, the insects eat everything in their path. A large swarm can gobble up to 200,000 tons of food crops a day, enough to feed half a billion people. Desert locusts plague 600 countries across Asia, Africa, and the Middle East. They can damage the livelihoods of a tenth of the world's population. And what they don't eat, they render inedible. Locust droppings are toxic to humans. The locust swarm is one of the Old Testament's legendary 10 plagues. Thousands of years later, there's still no reliable defense against them. So until we find a way to protect ourselves from their swarms, Locusts will keep creating mayhem on a biblical scale. <laughs>